This story begins in 2017 when my in-laws took down a crab apple tree. I recovered the bulk of it, put it in the magic minivan, and brought it home with me. I quickly got to turning part of it into a small bowl, but being pretty impatient, I put it in the oven to try and dry it out, which worked reasonably well, but did end up with some significant checking. In the end, I was pretty happy with the results. After two years, it has warped somewhat, but it really hasn't affected the functionality of the bowl. At the same time that I turned that bowl, I turned another blank, but left the walls quite thick, and packed it in shavings, and left it to dry at a much more gradual pace. As you can see here, it's quite out of round, but there's still plenty of meat left on the bowl to turn it round. It being Christmas Eve, I decided to finish the gift for my mother-in-law and just took pictures, not expecting anything exciting, so hence the Ken Burns effects. I mounted it back on the lathe, turned the tenon round again, flipped it around and mounted it on the chuck, and turned the outside round. As you can see here, the inside is still quite out of round, but it should be a pretty easy matter of turning it. I was the unfortunate victim of a rapid unscheduled disassembly. I briefly considered gluing the piece back on, but in the end, I decided to turn my bug into a feature. I smoothed the broken edge with a hand plane and a sander, found some scrap walnut and glued it up, and used my workbench holdfast as a clamp. I had replaced all the material and then some. I could turn all this off on the lathe, but using the bandsaw to remove the bulk of it is a little bit more efficient. On Christmas Day, I put it back on the lathe and finished the turning. I added a couple of coats of mineral oil and beeswax, which is still wet in these pictures, and was left with what Bob Ross would refer to as a happy accident. <laughs>